Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to talk about revision cloud. This is the most important things to doing for drawing protection. This you must know about the revision cloud for your drawing protection. When you submit to the client or when you issue to the second or or somebody else uh, to the specialist or whoever, but you must cloud in the uh, cloud into the drawing and the revision A or revision B or revision C. Okay, let's go. This revision is under manage. Going to the manage here, it, it is you looking for additional uh, setting and look for here is. You have to set up the revision A or revision B or something like that. It's originally default is A B is just something like this. So before we go in there, I will explain to you this layout. Okay, I created it is just simple layout for you to understand about this. That's uh, the work pro progress. Then we prepare the dish, uh, this layout. Then we put it on the drawing. And this is a blank drawing. So revision zero here. So I will put into the layout, the revision is this is a, the first revision is in here zero. There is a nothing here. Means the blank is totally revision zero. So you already submit to the client. Then the uh, not client is consultant. You submit to the consultant for getting approval. But then you get the command from the consultant. They all they want to modify this window to to the distance 2.5. They don't want the 2.7. That's a design change. And this window, just as Isabel, I should I explain to you that, that they wanted to 2.5 the distance from a studio to here the 2.5. So you you have to go back to the layout. Then you modify the 2.5 here 2.5 meter and the 2.5 meter. 2.5 meter but you you want to cloud on here but before you before you put the cloud on on the sheet but you are going to set up this the sheet issue and revision here this is originally I just created and then I will go back to you that original default one is default one is not deleted this one is a sequence one one six first sequence you want to put it uh, affirmative or numeric or none but you want to put it the revision A just choose this and the date you put it on the day is 01052023 okay for example this is a revision A you will put it into the sheet but in here look at it here numbering but you want to apply Per sheet or per project is some okay some of them some of the pro uh, the company they are revising the model then they put it the per project if right now we are using for the sheet so me we are uh, we we choosing the part sheet okay that's a numbering the customizing you can be modifying here this is in here whatever you wanted to change the here it's like a customized number or something that you want to create the parameter okay for now we are using this a default one a revision a and revision b we don't know what the date we will put on the revision b okay uh we will put it the today day is 10 05 that will be revision b okay the cloud and tag here it to uh, automatically showing to the cloud and tag okay just okay now we will apply to the cloud where is the cloud we want to uh, draw the sketch here don't worry about that you go into the annotate here look for the cloud revision cloud here the revision cloud in the manage in here that is you setting up for the setting the revision a revision b or revision c or the day is if you don't want to put the day is there is no issue right? there is no effect that you are drawing but there B A B C will be will be appear into the sheet the date don't show in the date okay uh, but you put the date is like proper one uh, we'll put the day is the 15 and May 2023 and you put the revision 
it okay then just okay then we are going to discuss sketch the cloud and okay going to the revision cloud before you sketch make sure you have to contact check into the product property box which sequence you are going to using right now we are using for the revision a you, you don't forget about this if you are like awareness you you just cash and then you submit that then uh, that your, your sheet is showing you the revisions C. that is your mistake that is your fault okay don't make mistake so better choose to the sequence A then I will change to the distance uh, and the distance change change the distance and uh, the door window position window window position change to change from five. this is a revision A I was going to draw this okay, just cloud it just cloud it just ok then if you want to turn on this Revision cloud. Click on this. You want to put the tag in here. You just call the tag category here. It's already have a default one. If you want to customize by your own design, you can do this. Okay. If you don't want to leave a line, just cloud and touch a little bit. You can call to the TG. Is it tagging? Is TG? You don't want this. Let's go into the cloud. That's a revision A. If you want to know about the information for this, then you select on this. Then there's a command here. What is this? Window position change from 2.72 to 0.5. That is the command you submit to. And after this, you check to the sheet. Then you will see the revision A. This is a revision A. You were, you were, uh, they will be noted. This is a revision A. Okay, now. We were doing for the revision B. What the revision B? We are going to do this. Okay. For example, uh, there's a door. This door positioning will be shifted to the other side. It's like 1.5 meter and here. So we just go back to chain to here. 1.5 here. Then you got a command from the consultant. Then we will cloud on the sheet. Just click OK. Go back to the sequence two and you cloud on this just okay then call the duck the revision b don't want to see the level line just drag and dot here you look at over here what are the other why the red color appear on here because i modify in here i just key in the color for revision cloud in here the color red color in here and the revision tag color here that's why you are seeing this color the red color in here but you look at this revision a here revision b here you don't want to see the revision a you look over this revision a and revision b it's at the same time you are able to see this but you don't want to see the revision a i will show you later now we are uh, we need to check the revision b or revision a or this is on the sheet and so now change to the revision b this drawing this drawing is currently the state current current state is revision b you already submitted to the you already submitted to the client then after that you got approved the revision b you are seeing that at the same time revision a and b in on into the sheet but you don't want to show the revision a because the current state the revision b is very annoying in it into the sheet but if you want to hide it but you have to go into the manage in here under the setting just go into the sheet issue but you don't want to show this because your current state this model and this drawing is the current state revision b but is it the revision is not not required into this drawing but you have to change it here none just click ok on a high but you want to you want to see the history here the revision A just put here and the tag or cloud here okay something like this this is a revision A 
okay then revision C you uh, they don't want this window in here so we are going to delete on the uh, into the layout we're going to here the window I will slide on the window and delete it then I will go into the cloud the revision cloud go into the annotation and annotate revision cloud in here just sketch before you sketch make sure you change to the current state revision C in here okay this is a revision C you need to call the tag in or DG or you make sure this tag don't want this okay and okay. And here revision C you put it onto the revision here what is this information remove window okay. this one we need to put a command from here window position door positioning I'm sorry door position chamber 2 door chain 2 1.5 okay this information we got it then you look at it into the sheet now current state revision C but you, the revision C is not require for now then you need to hide it you go into the manage and look for the sheet issue and the revision that is not necessary right now just click ok just like this this is how you manage the revision cloud into the drawing or something like that okay guys good enough for you guys this is a revision cloud how to manage it okay make sure you subscribe my channel and thumbs up anything you doubt comment down below and email me i will get back to you as soon as i can bye bye